Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, I'm very excited to show you what's new in Oxygen 4.3 Beta 1. Before I tell you what's new, let me just go ahead and start hitting Tab on this page. You can see here I'm moving through the menu, and I'm able to go over and trigger a dropdown here, go through, trigger a dropdown. If I hit Escape, it's going to go back to the parent menu item. And if I had my screen reader on, you would hear that everything is very well labeled for screen readers as well. That's right, in Oxygen 4.3, we're introducing a new menu element called Site Navigation that is built primarily with accessibility and ease of use in mind. This was rebuilt from the ground up following all the best accessibility standards that we could find. So you're gonna find that you're able to drop in this site navigation element. You're gonna have really solid default styles that don't require a lot of work to get them to match your branding. And it's gonna be very, very accessible by default. And of course it has a mobile menu. So let's show that really quickly. And we can toggle that by moving our screen size down a bit. We can open up that mobile menu and this is all accessible as well. Escape key brings us back out. We can tab over, tab in, tab through, activate these submenus, and when we move away from them, they're gonna close. And when the focus leaves, the whole mobile menu closes as well. Let me take you to the back end now and show you how this is built using the site navigation element. First, these menus are drawing from the WordPress menu system itself. So we go into appearance and menus, and we build our menu out here. We did add a few new fields here, which are the description and image fields, which you can see on this demo menu here on the CTA button, we have an icon or image and a description, as well as on some of the sub menu items. Once your menu is built over here, you can jump into Oxygen and drop in a site navigation element. And you can see that by default, it has some really solid styles. It doesn't need a lot of work to look really great, but I'll walk you through some of the styling controls that we have. First, we can set a title for this navigation element, which is really helpful for screen readers. So we'll call this site navigation. Let's make sure we have our demo menu selected here, and we're gonna switch to mobile at less than 992 pixels. Under general styles, we have a few color options which are applied really intelligently across the entire menu. This keeps you from having to adjust tons of controls to style this element. We just change a few colors and we'll be good to go. So let's swap this for a blue color and then we're gonna change the active and hover color to a very light version of that same blue. And now you can see when we hover, we get that light blue background effect. We also have the option to set the background of top level menu items to transparent. This is helpful if the menu is on an element with a background color that does not match the neutral color here, because as you can see, this is used as the background for those menu items. So if the background doesn't match, we can go ahead and set these to have a transparent background. But for now, we're gonna leave this on white. We can also adjust the border radius that's used across the entire element. Let's add eight pixels, and you'll see now that we have a border radius on submenus. And once we enable this CTA here, you'll see that there as well. But when you hover it, you see that that rounded corner effect is applied to all of these elements based on the border radius set here. We also have a general spacing control that allows us to add or remove white space from the menu. And then we have an add space between items option. Again, if your background on your top level menu items doesn't match the background they're on top of. They look kind of like buttons and you probably want some space between them. So you can use this to add some space and then you can increase the spacing here. But for this particular design, we don't need that. So I'm setting that back. Then we have some animation controls. This is just used for drop downs and for mobile menus. And these animations do respect prefers reduced motion. So if a user has somehow specified that they don't want animations, these are not going to animate. But we have a slide up option. We have a drop down option. And then we have a scale option. And we may add more of these during the beta uh, or before the beta even. Uh, just depends on what users end up wanting here. We also have a duration control and a timing control. So let's jump back over here. That's pretty much everything for the general styles tab. Now we have the CTA styles. Right now, this is just a single checkbox, which makes our last top level menu item be styled as a button. 
We may add some more controls here. Again, we're waiting to get some user feedback on some of these items to make sure we're not adding a bunch of controls that nobody will ever use and that we're only adding things that everyone needs. So if we go back over here, we have typography controls to control the typography for everything in the element, just the main top level menu items, sub menus, sub sub menus and descriptions. Generally, you're not gonna have to mess with these, but if you need more granular control, these give you that option. Then we have some icon controls, link icons. We are gonna go ahead and reduce the, that icon size. And then we have invert on sub menus and CTAs. As you can see right now, this icon's a bit dark on that blue background. So we can go ahead and invert this. Since it's a black icon or image, it inverts really well. So we get that white icon instead, except for when we hover. So let's jump back over here. We also have controls for the drop down icon, mobile open icon, and mobile close icon. Each of these is basically just an icon chooser and size because the colors all come from that initial general styles palette that we established. Then we have controls for a skip link. We can enable the skip link and we can set the skip link to be styled as a button. We can change the skip link label and change the target of the skip link. This allows us to give users the ability when using keyboard navigation to skip past all of our menu items. We made this optional just because you may not always need this if your menu is really short, but we wanted to make it available as part of the menu element since typically that's the element that you're skipping past. And if we go back over here, that's pretty much it for controls on this element. And we have an absolutely beautiful menu. So we're just gonna go up here and refresh after rebuilding this. And you can see that it took us basically no time, no effort. And we have a very attractive menu that is fully keyboard accessible. And that skip link is just hidden behind our admin menu because we're logged in. If we tab on past that, we can move through all of these menu elements with ease. And it's very hard to illustrate on a video, but this works very well for screen readers as well. We took an incredible amount of care making sure that this was built with accessibility in mind from the very, very beginning. So we're excited to get this out to our users. We're excited to hear your feedback and continue to improve this element to make it an absolutely fantastic option for basically any site. So that's pretty much everything I have to show you with this brand new element in Oxygen 4.3. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and thank you very much for watching.